So you may be suffering from constipation and could be wondering, are there natural ways to help out with constipation? Well, in today's video, I'll give you the top five things I recommend to all my patients who have constipation. Wait till the very end, I'll give you one additional pro tip just to my viewers to help out with constipation. Guys, let's talk about poop. So for those guys who are joining for the first time, my name is Dr. Samir Islam and yes, I'm an actual poop doctor. My passion is to give you tips and tricks to help out with your gut health. If you're new to these video series, I do a lot of videos on patient education, gut health, and medical health just like this video. At any point in time in the video, click in the show notes down below where I can give you more information on what I'm going to talk about in today's video. But guys, before we continue, don't forget to smash that like button and also don't forget to subscribe to my weekly newsletter. I'll put a link down below where I give a lot of good information on a weekly basis to help out with your gut health. But in today's video, let's talk about the top five things I recommend to help out with constipation naturally. So before we begin, constipation is a very common problem to have. You are not alone. I literally have thousands of patients who suffer from constipation. And the vast majority of people who come to see me for constipation may not have tried the most effective options naturally to help out with their bowel habits. It's a very common problem to have. A lot of people can have this because of age as we get older some of the uh, cells in our colon don't work as effectively it can be due to medications as well maybe you might have a condition called ibs or irritable bowel syndrome there are a lot of different reasons why people have constipation but it's a very common problem to have and it can range from a daily nuisance to a significant lifestyle problem that can really affect how you do your normal everyday activities. And there are a lot of symptoms when it comes to constipation. Some people complain of very hard or lumpy stools. Some people complain of the inability to really get everything out or feel like something is still within their colon. Sometimes people can strain when they have a bowel movement. And some people can, can complain of all of these different symptoms. But my main definition of constipation is that if you feel constipated and you're not comfortable, that's all I really need. So what are the top five foods I recommend for constipation. Well, number one is having high fiber foods. People really don't take enough fiber in their diet. And usually we need about 20 to 25 grams of fiber per day to have the most effective fiber to help you have a better bowel movement. What fiber does, it helps to absorb water inside that colon, and that absorption of water allows you to have more effective bowel movements. Now, the best fiber that I recommend is soluble fiber, and you can get this in a lot of different foods that are out there. And if you're looking for an over-the-counter fiber, the best one is the one that has psyllium in it. P-S-Y-L-L-I-U-M. This is probably the most effective fiber that you can get over the counter to help out with constipation. I'll put a link down below for which fiber I recommend for my patients over the counter. The second common food that I recommend is kiwi. Kiwi is a very effective fruit that really has a lot of water content in it. It helps to make stools softer, increasing the bulk of your stool and allow things to pass a lot easier, almost like a slide, you know, just shoom, just going down. It really does help out with bowel habits. The third food I'm gonna recommend are prunes. Prunes have been around for a long time and a lot of people use prunes to help you have a better bowel movement, especially when you're constipated. It has a high amount of sorbitol, which should help absorb a lot of water and allow your stools to pass effectively. Whether you take prune juice or actual prune fruit, it doesn't matter as long as you actually take the prunes themselves. Now the fourth thing I'm gonna recommend is not actually a food, but it is water. People don't drink enough water. We're so busy throughout our day, whether it's going to work, hanging out with the family, or doing other things that we really don't take the time to drink enough water. You really need about one and a half to two gallons of water per day to allow you to have more effective bowel habits. Now, if you can't drink water or you don't like water, there are other things you can do. Maybe it's teas, maybe it's soup, juice, maybe liquid from stewed fruit, any type of substance that can give you more hydrated is going to allow you to have better bowel movements as well. The fifth thing I'm going to recommend is also not a food, but it is coffee. Straight up, coffee does a fantastic job to help you have a more effective bowel movement, especially when you have coffee in the morning. When you have that coffee in the morning, what that does, it helps to stimulate what's called the gastrocolic 
reflux, which means your stomach wakes up, which in turn wakes up the colon, which in turn allow you to have a more effective bowel movement. This is the reason why a lot of people have bowel movements in the morning, especially if they have breakfast or have coffee. It kind of wakes everything up and allows you to get better bowel movements. So now that I talked about the five things I'm gonna recommend, I'm gonna give you guys, my listeners and watchers, one extra pro tip. The other thing you can do is really get some exercise and move around. The more that you can exercise, the more you can walk around, the more you can kind of get things going, this can allow things to move easier as well. So exercise is a very critical component when it comes to constipation and even a condition called IBS. Not only does exercise move your bowels, but it can really help out with some of the stress that can occur with gut issues. So I'd encourage you, if you don't exercise, start to do this. But these are the five things plus one extra that I recommend for all my patients who have constipation. If you've not tried these things, try them out and let's see how it works. But my question for you guys, what have you guys done to help out with constipation? What other foods or natural things have helped out? Comment down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my weekly newsletter and I look forward to seeing you guys on future videos. Stay happy and stay healthy. Additional pro tip just to my watcher, just to my breed. I have literally thousands of patients who have suffering. I literally have thousands of patients who suffer from constipation. One that has psyllium in it. P S P S Y. The third food I'm going to recommend. The, th the third food I'm going to recommend. But it is. But it is. Stay happy, stay healthy, and let.